The story comes after the accident to claim the body. The way she claimed me. She called to me with everything that she is, body and language, non-differentiated. She quacked sort of like a duck, a tiny yapping sound, and rubbed her head against me on her sides and her head again until I picked her up and took her to our home. At three months, she was inquisitive. She wandered, played, she asked questions with her body, like, which are the best objects to nap on, and where does the sun hit at 3 p.m., and will this new person pet me and let me sit with them, and this new person, and this new person? Is this cheeseburger wrapper edible? Is there a cheeseburger inside? There was no I can has. She had, and she was, and she was, and she climbed, and she opened my heart and crawled in and nuzzled and purred. I woke up one morning, and she was grooming my body, licking pieces of my hair and my forehead. She was claiming me, calming me, telling me. The body is a word, an idea. There, there might not be, be anything, anything real, real there, there under this, there, under this there, image. Under this image. <laughs> There's something comforting about digital editing programs, digital spaces, a safe space, borders, rules. Under duress, under the stress and the knowledge that the body fails, my body will fail me. I failed her, her body failed her, we failed her, her body failed her, her body failed. But her language. At 12 years, after refusing food and medicine and spitting the three cc's of syringe-fed water out over and over all day, we knew, I knew her body, her language, her body. On her final night, it was hot in the apartment. The air conditioning was broken. I watched over Skype as she stumbled to her water bowl, lay down in it, her front paws arched under and her head resting on the lip of the wide bowl. I think if she could have fit her whole body in, she would have. She was still asking questions like why this, what, why, where, or maybe, maybe I was asking those questions. Our bodies so far apart, but I could feel her and read her language. In the water bowl, she asked, Will my whole fit into this cool offering? Because... And I had no response. And I only felt cold. I told her over Skype, It's okay to go. My spoken words betrayed everything my body felt, but I remind myself that my body is not the only body that feels. I don't know if she heard this or understood my language, and my body was so far away. I had left a pile of dirty t-shirts which she had been sleeping in, and we were both comforted. But now she was so clearly uncomfortable. She was ready, she was I wasn't ready. ready, she was ready, I wasn't ready, she wasn't, I wasn't, and... Everything demands, and everything gets my attention, until I snap. The program holds steady when I cannot.